Okay, Jen, we reviewed parallel sixths. Okay, this is an E major. So you can start with your second finger on the G string, first fret, and it's major, minor. Three is minor, four is major, five major, six ma minor, seven minor, and then the eighth is the major two. As long as your second finger always remains down, um, it's easy to get the scale right. And the articulations you can try are to hammer on or slide the low voice like this. Then we reviewed triads. So I, I pointed out that you know the D shape already when you use it to play an E, not a D. So that's one, five, three. You can make it minor like so. Put the open E in the bass to confirm. Then you have the root position E, E, G sharp, and B. Make it minor. And then you have the first inversion, G sharp, B, E. And minor. So it's useful just to play all three major chords like so. Okay, um, and that's where Cleopatra came from. Cleopatra was here uh, with the ring finger at the 11th fret, and it went mixed and matched all three of these. I also pointed out that on the next group of strings, you already know two of your triads, so you know the F shape. That's in root position. One, three, five, you can make it minor. So that's F, G, A, and so forth. And I pointed out that A minor is the beginning of stairway. I also pointed out that the A shape is also a triad, if you just leave out the open A string, and that's 5, 1, 3. So that's A, B, C, D, and then you know the thirds on the top, so it goes minor like so. D minor, C minor, E minor, A minor, and so forth. Um, and then we talked about the Taylor Swift song. I feel like there's other things we did. We did the new slang solo, but that's all in your last video, including the scales I want you to practice with it. Um, the Taylor Swift song's in C, but she does a few small tricks. She uses the high, the pinky, to brighten up her G chord. And then I think it's a standard A minor. I don't remember the strum pattern. But the F, when it goes to the five chord G, go to a norm, like a C-shaped G chord, mute the A string, and suspend the B. So the B is the third, and you raise it to C with your first finger. Then you play a proper G. So it's F. Remember the timing, but it's very, very common. And then the chorus, she does a F to a G, and then she walks down the C in the standard way with a C over B. And it goes A minor, C over G, F. That's a common little walk down from an A minor ring finger on the low G bass, and then to the F chord. So that's her trick on the chorus. And now moving on to the Brandy song, also in C. You take a C chord, and again, suspensions are the theme of today. If you, this is root third, fifth, so the E is playing, is the third. And if you raise it half a step to F, you get a C sus four. It's a very pretty sound. I pointed out that it's the beginning of time after time. Um, and here she does it as a hammer on, so you want to practice like this. So the intro to the song, which is finger picked, is. Um, thumb twice and play five four three two and then root open first string so then you hammer on strike it with your thumb okay and then you play three and two five one so and then four three four three 
So the whole sus move is um put them together. And on the last one she just hammers on. And then the song starts with like a one, two, three beat. So it's C. I think know by now without the ring finger. And then a C over B. And she goes right to the F. Same rhythm. C. And the final left, she does a little trick. It's something like this. It's like a... So it's like four, three, one, two, three. And then to a C-shaped G chord where she strums six, four, double note on G and B. So the verses. 